Saint Martin, Saint Martin de Tours, was born around 316 AD. He grew up in Pannonia, what's now Hungary. He spent part of his life in Italy. He ended up as a soldier in what was then Gaul. He became, for long stretches, the patron saint of France itself. Saint Martin met during his life a man who embodied a very different, a very alien tradition. Martin served as a soldier in 4th century Gaul, at a time when the frontiers of the Roman Empire were coming under pressure from waves of people described by the Romans as barbarians. The empire that Martin served was Julian, a proficient slayer of barbarians. In the best tradition of the Caesars, Julian showed his gratitude to his victorious soldiers with displays of immense generosity. It was in one of these displays that St. Martin stood up to him. After a particular victory, Julian handed out donatives to all his soldiers. But Martin, stepping forward, said he would not accept them. Until now, it is you who I have served. From this moment on, I am a servant of God. Julian was a pagan empire who worshipped proudly the traditional gods of the Mediterranean. So Martin was threatened with death. He was spared and cashiered. He went on to leave the army to pursue a new life as a Christian leader. Nothing better illustrates this than the story of St. Martin in the fields. He is a soldier. It's winter. He is wearing a heavy military cloak, the capella which enables the soldier to keep warm in the winter of northern Gaul. And as he was riding out of the gates of Amiens, he sees outside by the gateway, half naked, shivering in the cold, a beggar. Martin takes his cloak, cuts it in two, and gives it to the beggar. He rides on and thinks nothing of it. But that night he has a dream. He dreamt that Christ appeared before him and said, You gave me your cloak today. Martin responded, When did I give you that? I didn't see you, O Lord. And the Lord said to him, As he had done on earth, Whatever you did for the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. Martin, this ex-soldier, this provincial, this nobody, would become one of the most famous men in the Roman world because he committed himself to the understanding that the most disadvantaged can place their trust in a God who, like them, had suffered, had been poor, had hungered, had lacked a cloak. St. Martin of Tours, pray for us.